Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm so happy to share with you what I have learned about creating Arabic projects using Precut. This tutorial is really for beginners. Crafters who already have some experience with Arabic projects might not find it very interesting, but I do appreciate your constructive comments, any additions or corrections to what I have consolidated here. So let me start by answering that very basic question. Does my Krika write Arabic? And please pay attention to when I say write Arabic versus create Arabic project. So can I write Arabic using design space? Your response is yes and no. Yes, because you can actually draw your words and we will see uh, this later in this tutorial. And no, because design space will only allow you to write Arabic letters without connecting them to form words. So useless, right? We will see this uh, these two in very few. So let's start with some basic setup before I go any further. You will basically need to activate your Arabic keyboard or use these online word generators and have some Arabic fonts. Let's activate our Arabic keyboard. So from the toolbar, language preference, add preferred language. I choose Arabic uh, Morocco. You can choose whatever you would like to. Next, install, and I should see it visible into the languages that I have set in my system. There you go. And as well, it will be added to the languages that I have in the toolbar. So if you're using a tablet, you can add Arabic from your language setting. And if you're using a Mac, you can do this from the system preferences. I should admit that I hardly use my Arabic keyboard and prefer this Google Ta'ari website. I type in my words in Latin letters and it will generate the Arabic equivalent. I just copy it and paste it in the programs I'm working on, but it will not be accepted in Krika Design Space though. There is also this Arabic calligraphy generator website. You type in in Arabic your words and it has few calligraphy that you can uh, download as a picture. We will see later on how to process these in design space. Now let's get some Arabic fonts. I'm using this website to download Arabic fonts. I'll pick up this first one. Click download. This will be downloaded as a zip file. Look for it in your download folder. Extract it, then click install. One important thing so your font will be visible in design space, you will need to close Krika design space and reopen it. So let's open Krika design space. Create a new project. Text. And let's write the word uh, Marhaba. So as Arabic font is not native to Krikat, it is not recognizing our letters. I have to pick up the font we downloaded in under system and search for it. See, we have our letters here, but no matter how we space them in and out, they will not be connected. So now let's explore a few workarounds and simple ways to create Arabic projects. This is a summary of four different methods. There are variations to each of them, meaning you can use different programs or steps, but deeply, it's the same principle. I'll be exploring with you what I use and know. Using your handwriting is one of the simplest ways to create a cut file for Krikat. I have a bunch of handwriting, calligraphy, and verses from the Quran. I picked up Kulam wa antum bikhair, scanned it as a picture. Then send it to my email and download it as a JPEG. And I will be using this image to show you different ways to clean and prepare your, to prepare your image to use in design space. Let's start by removing the background. I'm using the free version of this website. I'll upload my scanned image. Click remove background and download it. You can remove the background directly in design space. 
I just find it easier and faster to do it this way. Now, I will convert that same scanned image to SVG. Using a free version of this website, I uploaded the one with clean background, click SVG, convert, and wait a few seconds. It will be visible in my downloads folder. And again, all I'm doing here is just preparing my images to work on Design Space. Let's get now to Design Space. My first upload and insert is the original scanned handwriting that is saved as JPEG. See the white background here? This is what I need to clean. I will click complex so Design Space will look for these fine details. My picture seems to be big so I'm zooming out. This design has five different colors and nuances. So under advanced options, I will reduce my color to five and tolerance to 100. Please pay close attention to how the ink watery feel in my colors disappear and looks more solid. We are ready now to remove the background. Click on the wind icon at the top and proceed by looking for the white pieces and click inside to clean them. If you do a mistake, just undo your action. The preview button will give you an idea on how your design will look like at the cut window. I will not complete the clean of this picture, but overall this was easy to work with. And I do want to show you the next one where we removed the background in the external website. Let's upload and insert it in Design Space. You can see in this preview that I do not have a background. So again, I'll click complex so Design Space allow working on fine details. This time, I will not use my advanced option only because I will work with a portion of my design that is having only blue colors. So I will crop the portion that I do not need, clean, delete the pieces that I don't need and refine some corners. Here I will be speeding my video as it took some several minutes to do this. After I'm done from my cleaning, I'm fine with the result as it appears on the preview window. I click continue, cut image, upload and insert my text into design space. This is now my ready to cut design. It appears as one piece and if I click on make it, it will be cut the same way we see it in the mat. Now we will work with the SVG file we converted. An important remark to keep in mind. SVG files quality depends highly on the base image you used. Not all converted files will give you the result you're expecting, and this is one example. For some reason that I ignore, the converted file did not pick up all the details of my image. So again, for this particular example, the best and quick result came out of removing the background and work my image as a cut file. I actually did a test on another calligraphy text that was black and white, and my SVG file was great, so really it's a matter of trials. We're getting now to the most popular way of creating Arabic projects, which is grabbing a picture from the net. This is processed pretty much the same way as we just saw with our scanned image, but I will walk you through an example. I googled a picture of the word Salam. I randomly picked up this one, saved it to my computer, we need to clean it before we cut anything, so uh, I start by removing the background. I personally like to do it in this website, so it's way easy and quick. So I click upload, remove background, then download it again to my computer. And I'll open it into design space. What's in there? I'll click complex. From a first sight, it looks like it looks okay clean, but I will check my preview window to see if there is anything left. Okay, there is this blurry piece in here. So I'll go back to my screen and clean it. I honestly don't see it, but from the previous screen it was somewhere here so once I'm sure like I mean I cleaned up everything 
I'll go to uh, my cat file, continue, then cat file, upload it and insert it into design space. And here you go. Very beautiful and lovely cut file in one piece and ready to cut. Now we will explore working with a converted SVG file. My base picture is the one we removed background to earlier. I'm using this website. We'll upload my picture, choose the SVG type and click convert. I have this link with some other ones at the end of this tutorial. It will take a few seconds. And once it's complete, it's going to be in my download folders. So I'll take it to um, design space. See how it looks clean? Like I mean, there is no background. Uh, all the word is there. There you go. Beautiful, clean. Nothing is missing from my word. And if you notice in the right panel, you will see how my word is split in such a way that I can do some edits. Like for example, remove those little tashkil and I'll change half the meme. This flexibility is not available when we work with regular PNG or JPEG images, which stays one block and will be cut just the same way you upload it. So for me to make uh, my SVG file, I will need to weld my words, otherwise the letters will be cut pieces just the same way we saw them in the panel. So let me change the color here so you see it in, uh, in my mat. And now my, my file is ready for cut. Another way to create Arabic project is to use specialized graphic software. There are many in the market. And um, I won't be able to go over each. The one I work with for writing is Adobe Illustrator. There is also Inkscape that offers a free version and seems to be a good platform to work with. Honestly, you will need to figure out the software that works best for your needs and budget. So the example I'm showing here is writing the word Salam in Arabic calligraphy using uh, the software brush. Then I will save it as SVG. This is actually one of the appreciated capabilities of graphic software. Um, they allow you to easily save your work as SVG, PNG and other file types supported by QuickCut. I'll be speeding the video and you can skip this step if you want. It's taken several seconds. Um, as the next, I will take my, my software writing SVG to design space and we will see a new method using this example. Let's upload the new word Salam SVG to design space. So it's clean, no background. And it's ready to work with. So I'll just go and insert it. So as I'm using the same Canva we used for the previous examples, I'll just go ahead and change the color. And I want you to note again in the right panel, my word is presented in different pieces, which allow me to edit and customize it as I want. So I'll go ahead and weld it and get ready for this time, not cutting, but drawing or writing. method to create Arabic projects is actually write Arabic and this can be done through the draw function and cricut markers. You can actually use other pen but we are keeping things simple and basic for now. I will only keep the last example of the word Salam we wrote on Adobe and hit draw. Bad surprise! Uh, this option will draw me only the outline of the word with open spaces in the middle. And this is not what I want unless I'm looking to do coloring projects. There is a work around to this. The idea is to fill the empty space in the word with lines to make it look like a solid font word. 
So I upload and insert a fill in lines image. This square is actually a series of joint lines, black and white. You can, you can create your own InDesign space using the square shape and alternate color in black and white. So we're bringing our word salam and slicing it. So it takes uh, the fill in lines. So select both um, items, then hit slice. Uh, slicing will give me an output of two different pieces. So I'll just go with the one that looks darker when I hit draw. So I go and click row. Uh, I choose here the black pen, but honestly, it doesn't really matter for our example. My actual pen was in turquoise. I'm just making some few adjustments uh, as my card is a, is a little one. Hit make it. And this will take me to the other screen where I need to choose uh, my material. So here I'm choosing light card. So I'm just using um, a postal card. I move the camera to my greetat to show you the steps. I place my marker in clamp A and clicked on that flashing light, then the cut button and let it draw. The drawing took around 10 minutes, so I had to trim the video and speed up some parts. And here is the final result. Let's have a closer look. I personally was not very satisfied about how it turned out. See the lines I have filled my words with earlier? Some parts don't look smooth and ink is bleeding. So my guess the card I used was not having a smooth texture. So I redid another test on the back of the same card and the result was much better. Sometimes what people do, uh, they just complete the coloring to make it look solid and unified. By this example, I came to the end of this tutorial and as a recap, we saw four different ways of making Arabic projects. I left here a few links that I use and I shall stress out that this is a personal preference. I'm not affiliated to anything and not doing any publicity to any tool or software. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. Thank you.